Hi, I'm Juliana, and we are back at Reed Hall. Um, it's a beautiful place, actually. Um, I, you can already see from this view here, you have the stadium, the football stadium here. Mm -hmm. uh, we also are very close to Maple, which we toured yesterday. Yes, there's um, the stadium right there. Yes. Gosh, uh, Maple Hall. Also connects to Hillgirl, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. That's a place <laughs> you like to go? <laughs> and there's also a parking lot directly right in front of you, so it's right, very right. useful as well. Parking lot right there. And if anyone has a question as we go through our tour, feel free to ask them as we go. Uh, that is the uh, Epley Center, yes. and a lot of the health uh, professions have uh, their classes right there. Yes. Um, and this hall is also named after Martha McKenzie. Um, she worked here, I think, 17 years, um, mm -hmm. and it also is nine stories high, so you will have a better view later. We are going to show that view, yeah, yes, nine stories up. Of everything we're talking about, so it'll be very beautiful. Um, yeah. Go ahead it? inside. It's kind of hot. I'm it hot. Is. Are you yeah, hot? It's yeah, it's pretty hot. hot. <laughs> Not as bad as it was yesterday, yesterday. but still kind of warm. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Heading into the, uh, this would be the south entrance. Yes. Okay. You're going to follow us in, Kat? Yes. Thank you. Take security very serious. <laughs> okay, we we're going to go over and show yes. off this little room over here. Yeah, we're headed to what we call the blue room. Really? Yes. <laughs> why, why, do you, why is it called the blue room? Um, well, let's see. <laughs> I wonder why it's called the blue room. The blue room, yes. I hope it's not because people are sad. Yeah. Right, no, I don't want that. <laughs> And uh, it looks like we have two sort of study areas yes. in here. Um, it's kind of a way to have your own space but not be kind of um, excluded from everything going on. Um, it's a very beautiful area, um, nice, nice art here. Yeah, um, plenty of windows too. Like that's, yes. that's where we just were, but we're on the inside now in the air conditioning. Yes, the wonderful <laughs> air conditioning. Um, and I don't know how much light comes from All this. Oh, right, this, yeah. <laughs> that thing is huge. Yeah. It, it's almost a, like a tanning line. It's so gigantic. You could probably light the entire room. So. Right. right. <laughs> so you've got two of these study rooms, and then you have this main, bigger area. area. And do people actually use this? Yes. Oh, my gosh. When I came through uh, during regular uh, school hours and times and things like that, there were tons of people studying in here, actually. And um, I was very surprised, but it's, it's heavily used. So mm -hmm. you'll get a lot of use out of this area. The blue room. The blue room. Okay. <laughs> we'll move on past the blue room. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to stop by the main desk and okay. see that. Maybe talk about the mail system a little bit. Yes. Yeah. So apparently, <laughs> this place is staffed all the time, yes. except for right now, because no one's in the building <laughs> except for us, for the most part. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is the front desk area. Yes. Uh, that, that is the north entrance, and we came in yes. through the uh, south entrance right here. And through the north entrance, there is a bus stop. So if you, like we talked about yesterday, if you don't have a car... That is, our transit system is an option. So. The other day, I took the uh, transit just from Pomfret down at the bottom of the hill up to here, and I was like, oh, I saved myself so much. <laughs> yes, that hill is crazy. <laughs> yes. Here are our water fountains, too, just so you know. Yes. Bring your own plastic bottle. There is uh, you can fill it right there. Floor. Oh, okay. So that's convenient. Fantastic. Um, and here we have our mail system, mm -hmm. um, and everyone's mail is right here. So you don't have to go into a different building to find your mail. It's all right here. Um, just come down the elevator and uh, get your mail. Packages at the front desk, I yes. would imagine. <laughs> but smaller mail goes right yes. there. Okay. We got some uh, some vending down here. <laughs> Always good to know about the vending. Yes. Um, and then right here, we have a kitchenette. Um, just off to the side, small little area, stove, sink. And this is only one of uh, two of the kitchen yes. kind of areas, so. Yeah. What do we need to fob in there? Yes, we need to okay. fob in here. <laughs> Very secure. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, we're heading into a room that's right off of the kitchen area. Area as well. Do you know what this is called? Yes, this is called the sunroom. Uh-huh. Um, and people, I guess, will come off the kitchenette and eat at the dining table here. Mm -hmm. um, and then maybe just kind of hang out and watch movies as well. On the TV and kind of just lay on the couches. 
Lovely. Yeah, There's a lot of spaces here I'm seeing. It, a lot of like just sort of spaces to kind of meet and congregate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Very nice for all the rest What does that say? Okay. Um, laugh often because your smile will brighten everyone's day. Aw. <laughs> all cool. right. Here. Okay. I'll leave that open for you. Thank you. I got it. <laughs> oh, and now we are at our kind of gym area. This is our only residence hall to have yes. this, so it's kind of cool. Otherwise, you're probably headed to the Hyper, but let me give you a view of our gym. <laughs> We've got, again, we do have the Hyper facility, which is, has a full gym that everyone uses. Um, and uh, it is pretty full of things, you know? Yeah. These sort of things. We had a question. Uh, Kelsia wants to know, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, Kelsia wants to know, would you say that Reed is the least centrally located dorm on campus? I, and it is the northernmost. Mm, I, I would so, say so it's farthest away from like your classes and things like that, but that is also a great thing about it. It is kind of secluded and very quiet and just a nice place to kind of get away from the craziness sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, that is school and work and things like that. So. Yeah. And there's more, there's more ample parking here, too, yeah, I believe, compared to the central part of campus. But again, when we're talking about distances, really what we're talking about is the difference between five minutes versus mm -hmm. ten minutes. I mean, over time, that does build up, but uh, mm -hmm. that would be the difference. <laughs> Elizabeth, I'm sorry if you're having a frozen screen. We'll keep going and see if that ends up being a problem. And if it is, chime in and we'll try to do something else. I would say refresh your page. <laughs> Maybe that'll help. We also Let's have see. Yeah. a UAPD substation uh -huh. right next to Reed. We're going to go through here and maybe see if he answers. We'll see if he answers. We told him we might come through and say hello. <laughs> I don't know. And this is right next to... Yeah, he's here. Come on in. Hey, how's it going? How are you doing? Just fine. In. Yeah, okay, thanks. I'll come in. <laughs> so you guys are neighbors to Reed, yes. Paul. And uh, what are some of the services offered through the substation? Here? Well, at the substation, we make it... And one young lady summed it up years ago. It's nice to have us here, but we're not underfoot. Okay. So we're here if you need us. You bang on the door, there might be somebody here. Or you call our office at 575-2222. Uh, There's always a dispatcher there to answer the phone. Fantastic. We're here um, for your convenience more than anybody. I see your bike right there. I ride bike most of the time. We come up here. We will be here periodically. Mm -hmm. um, and we just, we're here. Fantastic. You know, make it easy what was your name? I'm sorry. Officer Meyer. Steve Officer Meyer. Meyer. Now, are you are you in this substation most of the time when no, you're working? No, no. Okay. Uh, most of the time we are out and about, mm -hmm. and then we do reports. We will come up here and do reports up here because it's easier to respond from here than at the main office. Okay. And this is just one of two substations that we have, which is very unusual because most universities do not have police substations, and we've got two of them. Wow. The other one is in the uh, business administration uh, building or uh, the Bud Walton School of Business, mm -hmm. and uh, they love us over there, they want us over there, and we like to be here because we can get to just about any place on campus. Yeah. So, uh, but now, if you show up and there's a squirrel outside the door, mm -hmm. it needs a peanut butter cracker. Oh, okay. <laughs> Insider tip, peanut butter cracker Insider for the tip. squirrels. All right. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much. You We're glad to have you here. We're, I, we're glad to be here. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks yes. a lot. We're no, going to continue our tour of Reed. All right. Let's see. We were going to go back down and look at, is it laundry that we're looking at next? Uh, look at the rooms on the other side. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Which includes the full kitchen. Oh, right. The full kitchen room. Shelby, sorry if it's not loading. Um, if that problem continues, maybe we'll try to refresh. That's an alternative entrance to the <laughs> front desk area. And here's the kitchen we need to fob okay. for this as well. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So this is the combined living kitchen room, yeah. and living room area. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. That's a nice size TV. I think so. Yeah. And it's really nice furniture. It's very comfy and like leather. It's really, really nice. Yeah, it feels kind of bistro-y in here. Like, uh, <laughs> like you could really chill out for a while. Um, and then I guess we'll head on through. On through to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, we have a nice full-size kitchen here. Um, I'm 
tuning. I see, I see a pancake kind of grill here as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, assuming there's a lot of meetings in here and food <laughs> for family. Right. Um, Oh yeah, so full kitchen. Mm -hmm. Now, do you were you someone when you lived on campus? Where did you live? I lived in Maple. Uh -huh. um, I did not cook as much um, <laughs> when I lived in Maple, but now that I live off campus, uh, cooking is a, a big part of my life. Um, I also know that housing has a Pinterest page where you can go find recipes, or you know, if you want to decorate, mm -hmm. they also have a board for that. Um, we but, do. It's at yeah. UARC Housing. So Pinterest.com mm -hmm. forward slash UARC housing. Yes. Um, when you went to go eat, you went to Fulbright. Would that be the right one? Yes, uh, mainly or Fulbright. Okay. Uh, and Okay, so it'd be kind of like Fulbright for maybe breakfast or lunch, and then mm -hmm. if I got caught in the middle of campus, I might eat at Bruff. And okay. at night, it could be Hill Grill or it could be Fulbright again. It's just kind of how your schedule pans out. But Yeah, I can, I can see that. So <laughs> typically in the morning, you'll probably eat where you are residentially yes. located. So if you're in Pomfret, Pomfret in the morning, yes. but then in class time, you're usually in the center part of campus. Mm -hmm. That's why Bruff gets good, so good. hammered, which yes. we found out earlier. <laughs> gets hammered Pink around times. 11.30. <laughs> yeah. So let's um, continue looking at this area okay. and then step outside for a second. Yeah. Apparently there's a little area there. Yeah. Um, Hannah, you can bring your own stuff, but then there's also some stuff to check out if you want. Yes. Um, Angie, I don't believe there are any restrictions with using the kitchen. Um, I think you can use it pretty freely. There might be some of the halls they prefer that you tell them if you're going to use it or you try to reserve it, but um, as far as I know, oh, <laughs> we did a security More violation. Security. <laughs> so we're outside now looking at this patio area. Uh, Kelsia, um, what is the nearest dining hall to read? It's going to be Fulbright right. Dining where uh, Juliana used to eat. Yes. <laughs> you bet. Okay, let's head back inside. Okay. If we can get back inside. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's why we need three of us at all times, right? We're going to lock ourselves out during live tours. Okay. And we just head back. Through. Yeah, let's head back. Um, I think we're going to look at the laundry. Yes, just right down this yeah. wall here. Just so you know, first floor is mostly offices and meeting areas and all that sort of thing. It's a rectangle. It's one big rectangle. As far as I know, there are no bedrooms um, yeah. for residents on this floor. So. Well, the elevator will come back to that. Yes, we'll be going upstairs to look at a room. We're going to go up to the ninth floor. So if anybody listening is has a room in the ninth floor, we might be able to go to your room. Yes. Okay. And this is also our trash room here. Uh -huh. Put your trash and recyclables there. Yes. Okay. There we are. Yeah, and ice too. Some people had asked earlier about the ice machine. Here's the ice machine. It's only on the first floor. Okay. Um, but there is a water bottle fill up station on every floor after that. So, okay. so let's um let's look at this and then we'll step out because it's kinda loud in here. A little bit loud. But you have, I don't know. There's what? How many people live here? Uh, approximately 500 mm -hmm. live here. So. And then we have what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Is that right? 12 yeah. washing machines? Yes. So, yeah. Let's tell them about, about uh, Laundry Alert, which is coming this fall. Oh, right. Uh, so, Laundry Alert is basically uh, kind of a website that you can download to your phone. Uh, so whenever you put your laundry into a washer, it'll kind of alert you when it's done, so you don't have to check yourself. Um, it'll alert you, and you can come down and get your laundry. Um, you know, it kind of eliminates the running up and down stairs and mm -hmm. having an extra wait time. Uh, so yeah, it's super convenient that way, and anyone can use it. So. Yeah, so um, you, can, you can look online, as she was saying. You can look online, you can see which ones are open. And uh, yeah, we think it'll be a good service. We hope you use it. Uh, we did have some requests on oh. the ninth floor rooms. Okay. Um, Lexi, I'm sorry we can't go to the fifth floor. I apologize. On the ninth floor, would you mind uh, noting this? What's that? Um, rooms 909 and 920. Uh, Shelby and Abby had asked us to do that. Okay. And then Beth asked us, are there trash chutes from the different floors to the trash room? Or does it need to be carried down? Are there chutes in this building? 
Wayne Moment sound on her video, they need to bring the crash down here, but we can double check that. Yeah, I'm thinking that you need to bring it down, but let's, let, we'll, when we get up to the ninth floor, we'll look and see if there's a trash chute there. Either way, I'll try to follow up in the replies of this thread to make sure you get that question answered. Okay, let's head upstairs. Unless there's anything else on the first floor? No? <laughs> All right. Grace asked if we can go to 912. We'll see. We'll see, Grace. We've got two rooms already, so we'll see. Huh? Yeah. I didn't know there were going to be some people who, who were living on ninth floor watching. That's kind of cool. Well, welcome to ninth floor, Reed. Yeah. <laughs> we're about to head up there. Um, hey, could you write 912 down just in case, too? Maybe we can pop in for a quick second. A hot moment in the 912. <laughs> in the 912. And this is actually a pretty fast elevator, mm. so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you guys are going to like this view. I think you'll be oh, real fond of it. Where's everybody uh, from? Anybody want to mention a state where you might be from? <laughs> how big is the elevator? I, you know, Dana asked how big the elevator is. It's, it's pretty sizable. We can jump out and see. I mean, it's, uh, it's ample for a lot of people. Okay, so which room, which, uh, we're going to go to the bathroom first, or we're going to do oh, well, the, uh, yeah. Just give you the study room. Right, of course. In every corner. This floor? So every floor has a study room area. Yeah. And my understanding of these um, sort of you know traditional style residence halls is a lot of times people kind of identify with their floor as much as they do with their building. Yes, um, definitely. Uh, that's that's a big thing. That was even in Maple. Um, people always associate with their floor. Uh, or if when I toured, people kind of were like. Uh, yeah, go go find Jess. She's on the eighth floor, and mm -hmm. you know, just kind of that's kind of where you're from. It's not right, I'm from, it's like I'm from the ninth floor. floor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, Lexi. Hello to St. Louis and oh, uh, Shelby. St. Louis. Yeah. So, you're, wait, you're from? Saint are you from mm -hmm. St. Louis? That's right. <laughs> yeah. So Juliana's from St. Louis too. She says go Cards. Yes. Uh, go Cardinals. Shelby's from Texas. So yeah. <laughs> Elizabeth asks, are all the elevators available for move-in? Um, I think. Mostly they're available for move-in, I believe only so. Only for going up, not for going down. Okay, <laughs> only for going up, not for going down. That's the one consideration, okay. And we will, I guess we found one of the rooms. Yeah, okay. Do you want to look at the bathroom before we look at the rooms? Let's look at the bathroom before we look I mean, at the rooms. Right, right yeah, right. let's do that. Whoever's in 992. Lexi asks, oh my God, what's cool? You do not have to say if you don't want to, but if, you, if you're comfortable. Oh, can say. well, that, it's, a, it's a long story. Okay. I might come back into All the right. thread and answer Okay, there you question. go, there you go. All right. So, we're in the bathroom area, which is kind of a breezeway yes. here between one half, which is, um, the, this is sort of the main, you know, bathroom area. Yes. And uh, I'll just step in here for a moment. You've got what? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five sinks. And then, of course, the stalls. And over here, we have the showers. It's kind of like a yeah, sitting area and then a shower, um, which I find very interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you have the, the area where you kind of walk into and sit down, and then you have this area. I don't know if there's a light in here. Is there a light? There should be. Okay. Well, I'm sure there is. Oh, okay. There's the shower head. Anyway, and you have, what, five of these? Is yes, that right? five. Five of those. Okay. <laughs> Great. So, shall we go check out rooms? 920 is to your right. Okay, thank okay. you. We're going to see 920. Go see 920 for, let's see, for Abby. Abby, okay. Here is 920. Super bright. You have a great view. Oh, wow, yeah. That. It's beautiful. Why don't you, uh, do you mind pulling up the window? Uh, we can give her sure. a full view there. You can see the Razorback Stadium right there. And that was, uh, so we're kind of facing in the direction we were when we uh, first came in. And then, is that Old Main? That is Old Main right there. Yeah. <laughs> so you can kind of see Old Main. And all the mountains and the stadium. Yeah. It's just a great view. Um, yeah, great so this view. would be, uh, all the rooms are going to be generally like this, except for the room at the end of the hallway. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Okay. And it's right down here. Great. 
So um, let's go ahead and answer a question that came in early, if we yes. can, from Don. Yes. Don asked us to please take some measurements of the bed and the bed frame because he's making a headboard and want to. Uh, <laughs> I think that's really cool. Doing some uh, dad's doing some carpentry yeah. to make it look uh, real nice. Yeah. Don, the uh, details of the spring frame are included in the resin salt handbook on our website mm -hmm. and um, so you can see what the what the end hooks look like um, the end hooks hook into little bars that run across the inside of the frames right there's a, a steel rail there that the bars fit into um, Shelby I think you can loft them as high as you want which is I believe 81 inches is the is the top height yeah I think these might be a little bit shorter because um, a little bit shorter. We don't. We don't a little bit shorter. Them. Let's say between seventy-two and eighty-one. Mm -hmm. um, we can figure that out. But yeah, if you bring a rubber, rubber mallet, you should be able to um, do them yourself during the move-in process. But you can also submit a uh, fix-it slash maintenance request on the web page and ask them to, and they'll do it for you. Um, yeah. So you find yeah. get some calculations. Yeah. Don, uh, mm -hmm. the width from here to here is forty-one inches. Okay. I just measured that. <laughs> right, right. Um, does she want a height specific to? I, I don't know how. If you could uh, maybe get from the center of this rail to the center of this rail here, that will kind of give you the the width of the uh, frame. Okay. So it's just under forty-one inches. Okay. Thirty-nine inches width there. Okay. And when we talked about the headboard, I think maybe she meant that right there. This. I think that's what she meant. Don't you think the bulletin board? The bulletin board, the headboard? No, maybe? I think it's probably more. Let's, let's get it just in case. Okay. Uh, so she's just at 24. Uh huh. For the height. Okay. And about 36 inches mm -hmm. for the width. 36 inches, okay, yes. for the width. So let's take a moment, and I need to go over some of these questions that are coming in. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, the view is super pretty. I appreciate you. Uh, Noticing that too, we love being up here. Um, Shelby, we tried to answer your question about the uh, uh, loft beds. Hopefully, we gave you enough enough of an answer there. If not, we'll try to get more. Yeah, uh, Shelby, what you see here is half of the frame. Uh, it, um, you can get another part of the frame to raise it up higher. Mm -hmm. So, so be twice the, the width of this. Mm -hmm. So right. actually, if you measure that, we'll have right. we'll get twice the width. The um, From the see if you want to. The we'll need that for Dawn also. Angie asks about um, are these regular? Four and a quarter inches. Let's see. Can you do that again? Thirty-four and a half. Is it half? Yes. Thirty-four and a half inches high. Thirty-four and a half inches high. Um, question came in uh, from Angie. Are these regular twin beds or XL twin beds? These That's in our little cheat sheet. These too, are regular. So. I believe. And regular is 70, 75. 75, okay. 75 okay. by 36. Okay. Um, and then Lexi asks, can we get those cork boards unbolted by any chance? Mm -hmm. I, I was planning on so. covering them with fabric. I do not think they unbolt. No. Uh, but you're welcome to kind of, you know, decorate them in whichever mm -hmm. way you want. Um, Hannah asks, could you please measure the second shelf, please? And uh, I think we're talking about, mm -hmm. yeah. So let's get let's get the height from the from the table. So to the bottom is how much? Twenty four inches. Twenty four inches, and then the width there. Forty. Forty inches. Okay, so it's you said twenty four was the first measurement. Yes. Okay, twenty four from the the uh, the. Uh, the height. The height up there. <laughs> yes, and the. Can get the interior measurement? Um, like from this here to the interior and the inside. Hmm? What's up? 38, 38 and a quarter. 38 and a quarter, okay. Um, yeah, okay, so 38 and a quarter width, right? Is that what we're saying? On the inside. On the inside. the inside. Okay, on the inside. Gotcha. Hopefully, Hannah, they answered your question. If not, let us know. Dana asks, uh, how thick are the mattresses? And I'll just go ahead and say, not especially thick. 
So, you know, uh, you can measure it if you don't mind. But we do recommend that you get a, a topper of some sort. Six and a half inches? Okay. So half a foot. Um, seven. Seven inches. Okay. And then Abby asks, how do you attach a headboard? Um, I guess if you weren't going to loft it, maybe? Or not right. So sure. basically, like, you, you would bring it all the way up to the highest height at mm -hmm. this uh, length or height. Mm -hmm. um, and then you'd kind of put it against the back of the wall and okay. it would look like it's a part of the bed. Gotcha. Right. <laughs> so you'd have to find a way. You, basically, you would cover over mm -hmm. that thing right there, right? You'd right. cover over the cork board. Right. Yeah. If you can come around, Christopher. Yeah, sure. Um, the way to get the frame off is to um, pull up on here. Now, that's why you need a mallet. Mm -hmm. it, it's a two-person job. Um, you tap it underneath. Yeah, you tap it underneath to loosen it up. And then there are two hooks here that fit into the pins that run inside. Mm -hmm. So you just... Uh, set the frame to whatever pin uh, height you want and set the hooks into the pins mm -hmm. and then let it drop down and you're good to go. Okay, okay. I've uh, got a couple more questions coming in. Uh, Grace asks, uh, did you say we can lift our bed the day we move in or do we have to notify before that we will be no, they lifting? Do it themselves you can do it yourself. You can do that yourself. Um, you have the option of asking us to do it for you, but you can do it yourself. Uh, Stephanie asks, do the dress, the desk drawers lock? And I no. don't no. believe they do. No. no, they do not. So, to be clear about that. Yeah. Um, and then Angie asks, if you loft the bed, the full height is there. Is there still room to sit up straight on the bed? So if you go as high as possible, uh -huh. could you actually sit up straight on there? I am I mean, I think it depends sure. on how big your torso is, but right. generally I'd say... Probably not. No, probably not. Probably not. Yeah, you, can, so. you, can, you can fit your desk underneath you can. Uh, the bed. Um, can we get a measurement from the floor to the top of the desk? So that way they kind of know how high to... Fifty-four and a half from the floor to the very top of that shelf. Um, Dana asks, where can you put a refrigerator? And, uh, you know, generally anywhere. Let me give a full 360 of this room. I don't think I've done that yet. Give people a view. So there's closets right there. There's two of them. And then you have this nice chest of drawers, of which there are two of them there. And then a mirror right there. Another drawer right there. Um, so where can you put a refrigerator? You know, a lot of different places. Some people put it underneath their lofted yes. bed. Did you do that? Yes. I feel okay. like that's the best option when you think of space. But, um, I mean... I think we need to link your, your dorm <laughs> tour where okay. you talked about how you decorated your own room. I can link that as well. Yeah, let's do that. That's been very useful for people. <laughs> um, moving on. Uh, Hannah, uh, up to the desk, says, of the closet. So let me look at her earlier question. Uh, could you measure the second shelf, please, of the closet? Now I got it together. Thank you, Hannah. Well, I wonder uh, that one. Okay. Second shelf of the closet. Yeah, so there's... Nine? There's nine inches between the first and the second. This one's going to be kind of hard to do. Yeah? You get pretty close there. No. going to be a little harder. Here, I can hold some. Please. <laughs> sure. So we're going from the inside? Yeah. About 46 and a quarter. 46 and a quarter from the inside, so. Okay, a great, thank you. And um, let's see. Shelby asks, what is the height of the shelves above the closet and the one above the mirrors? If you can reach it, thanks. Okay. What is the height of the shelves above the closet and the one above the mirror? Okay. 21. Okay, 21 and from there. the height of the shelves above the closet oh, and above the mirror. One. You got it? That's a hard one. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can, let me see if I can help at all. Okay. Um, We're going right there. Well, we want to go, yeah, yeah, right there. So what do we got? 17? About 17, I would About say. 17? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hopefully that helps. Um, 
So let's see. Um, okay, and Meg asks, are there are the rods on the back of the doors where you can hang the towels? Yes. A yes, lot there, are. <laughs> there are. There are those there. Yes. Uh, Alex asks, can you measure the shelf of the mirror if it's not too much high to reach? Did we do that? Did mm -hmm. we do that? Okay. Um, Angie asks, if you reposition the bed closest to the door to align with the longest wall, mm -hmm. can you put the desk by the door? Well, how it would, well, I'm thinking that would Isn't be enough space. To the door. Yeah. I think, I think that would be enough space to do that. Um, I guess if, if this thing came out and it went against this wall, mm -hmm. and then this so went up the over there, I think they would fit. I think, I think they so. would, I, I can't, yeah. <laughs> you have to mess with that configuration once you get here, but it looks, just eyeballing it, it looks like it would work. Um, Kelsey, how many outlets are there in the room, and where are they? Well, there are... There's two right two here, here, at least. on each side, uh -huh. the way it's set up, and I believe there are some somewhere behind here, but I could be wrong. Let's might be see. I don't see one right there. So there's at least four. At least four. Oh no, then there's another one right here. Isn't that one? Could be used. And you're welcome to use uh, power strips and bring those in too. Yeah, we recommend you bring in power strips. Um, Angie asked what the full measurement of the desk is. I believe we have it in our notes. So, and there were two other rooms we were going to look at. Is that right, Kent? Or one of the rooms, at least? We can look at the edge room, and, um, and then... I think 909, but we can look at a room on the north side of the building. Okay, okay. Um, where are the dimensions? This says the... Not the bookshelves, the desks? Yes. So the full measurements of the desks are uh, 23, 21, 33. And where we're taking that from is the... Uh, uh, housing web page under campus communities and then Reed Hall. Do you see that? That area? Yes. Um, let's see. So, Abby asked, is there any room for a full length mirror? Um, I think it depends on how you use this space right here. I think if these yes. things came out, you could certainly open it up for more. Um, you could put, you could potentially, well, but you'd lose all that closet space right there. That's true. Maybe right there, even? Possibly. Hmm. Yeah, I think it does kind of just depend on how you move things around. Because of full... Ooh. Yeah, because with this here, it kind of makes it, you know, hard to have full in here and everything. Sure. Yeah, it just depends on how you decorate and move things around. Okay, okay. Um, well, we're going to continue to move to some <laughs> other rooms. They all kind of have the same furniture, though, just so you're yes. aware of that. So if there's measurements that you still need, uh, Lexi asks, does every door have those bars behind it? Let's uh, see. For the shower curtain? Yes, I think that the shower curtain like, towels? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It does. Um, Kelsey asks, which, which is bed A versus bed B? Um, we think in terms of window and door, but, and this question's come up and I need to get a good answer, I'll get a good answer. Uh, just give me a little bit so I can figure out. I think A and B might be who chooses it first. I'm not sure. Let me check and find out. Let me check and find out, Kelsia. Um, okay, so which room are we going to? Uh, by request. 923. Oh, 923. Just see an end room. Okay, so here's an end room. This is another example of how we do these. It's a little bit bigger. It is a little bit bigger. <laughs> There's, I guess, two of these on each floor? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And there is more space for a Floor-length mirror here. Yes. <laughs> yes. Pretty much the same furniture, just a little bit bigger room. And right. the mirror is split into two. So you yeah. have your own private space here. And cabinets at the top. Mm -hmm. so that's a little different. But yeah, for the most part, it's pretty much the same. The view is different as well. So yeah. You yeah. don't really see. You don't really get the same <laughs> lovely view here. It's a little different, a little different view. <laughs> Okay, let's head on in. Thank you. And we've got, that was room 923. Yes. Okay, now we had one more request for a room to see. 909. 909, I believe, yep. And she says it's nice uh, that each floor has a full length mirror beside every elevator. Oh. Yeah, 
So we do have those. Me- we do have those. Yeah, <laughs> on every floor. Good. Good point out. Thank you, Angie. <laughs> We had a request also to see 912. Okay. This yeah. is 912 right here. Okay. So we'll pop in a 912 real quick. It's exactly like the room we just saw, except reversed. And again, with a great view. There's the bed. Great. There we are. That is 912. She's waiting for you. Your room. 912. Okay. 909 is right here. All right. We got a question from Angie about the room temperatures and how they're regulated. Is this one where. There's a thermostat. There's a thermostat. Okay. You're welcome, Grace. Our pleasure. Which room was this? I'm sorry. 909. Let me get up. Let me get the shot. Room 909. Here we are. And right here is the thermostat. It's feels very good in here, so... <laughs> yeah, and then you adjust it just right mm-hmm. here, I think. Yeah. Now, this is a corner room. Yes. There's a legend that these rooms are a couple inches wider. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's entirely <laughs> true, but it's not enough to make any huge difference. Right. Okay. So they're about the exa- exactly the same as the rest of the room. <laughs> so, again, same layout all together. Yes. It's just sometimes it's flipped as to where this is. Um, Kelsey asked how many floors are there. There are nine, nine. floors in Reed. Well, let's take a moment and take the last few questions and then go ahead and sign off. Uh, Were there any other rooms on the ninth floor that we were supposed to look at? Let me make sure. Those are the ones I had on my list. Those are the ones I have? Okay. Thank you, Kent, for writing those those numbers down. Okay. Well, everyone, we're excited to have you coming. Oh, okay. Here's some more questions. (laughs) Um, Abigail asks, how tall can the beds be lofted? Um, again, I think it's uh, about twice the height about, of the, that they are now. About 68 inches. About 68, you're saying? Yeah. If these are around 34 inches. Okay. So, um, stack on one on top of the other would be around 68. And okay. The, the bars go all the way up to the top. Right. Uh, within a couple of inches of the top. So, about 68 inches. Um, and Angie, am I correct that there are two bathrooms on each floor? It's actually, as I see, I mean, there, there are, there, mm-hmm. but there's one breezeway. It's just you have one side that's, mm-hmm. right. one side that's showers and one side that's bathroom. Mm-hmm. Right. Or do you have two of those in each? No, hall? there's just one on each side. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. One on each side, so yes. Um, Stephanie asks, are there rules for guest times? Not really. I mean, well, Reed might I have mean, some different kind of. rules. Um, that would be in our student handbook. Yeah. Okay, yeah. handbook would have a detailed breakdown with reading included. Sure. Um, and I, guests must be escorted at all times. That's true of all, that's true of all right. rights yes. Exactly. Yeah. I, but uh, for the visitation, we have to look that. Right. I'm not I, sure if there are read specific visitations. Go ahead. What? Oh, no. I was just saying, I personally, whenever I would visit friends and read, I never had a problem with, like, the time that I came. So, um, yeah, I, I would just suggest looking that up. Mm-hmm. I never had a problem, but mm-hmm. that doesn't mean you might. So... And Kent's referring to the handbook that's located on the housing.uart.edu webpage. You'll see the 1516 version. 1617 is coming out soon. You probably won't see any changes when it relates to no. read visitation. <laughs> that's been the same forever. So you can rely on 1516 for what's going to be your experience. Lexi asks, want to tell me your high school, but we'll let you address that offline. Yes. Um, that being the case, uh, thank you so much. Oh, oh one more. And yes, can the desk chair be removed and replaced with a personal chair? We don't recommend that you remove any furniture, um, but we do, you know, the furniture has to be here at the end of the year when you check out. It needs to stay. It needs to stay in the room. Do you, so, what do you want to show them the desk? Yeah, chair? can you show them what the, what the chair does? So this chair has kind of a trick to it. Where is it? I think it's on the back. Maybe Kent can show you. Yeah, you might have to try that. There we go. Okay. So it comes <laughs> off and becomes a table and kind of a rocking chair. Yeah. And particularly with the carpet here, it's actually pretty comfortable. They say it's great for gaming if you're into gaming. So sitting there playing a game. Um, and then Molly asks, where is a space that would work for a TV? I generally think... Yeah, people, yeah. this is kind of like the... 
table stuff anyway. Right. It comes with the remote. So people kind of just put it like either in a corner or just front and center. They do. They do. And I'll, and I'll mention that we're having some upgrades to our cable system this year. Um, it's moving from an analog signal to a digital signal. So you'll have like a guide on your TV. You'll have three different HBOs now too. Um, all of that is paid for with your room fees. So nothing extra, no extra cost for that. And here's your sort of your hookup area for that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, uh, Tretula asks, uh, how big is the seat of the chairs in inches? You know, why not? We'll give her the, the widest spot there. 19 inches. 19 inches, okay. How, how deep is it? About a 21 and a half. Okay. 19 by 21 and a half, okay. Hey, thank you for all these fantastic questions. We really appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and sign off now. And uh, we can't wait to see you this, this, this fall. Thank you, you for joining us. Uh, had a great time. See you guys this fall. Bye.